Ana, what's that triangle on the floor? An Egyptian pyramid. An Egyptian what? That cannot be a pyramid. How's that possible? The magic of a scratch. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna take our 3D building shapes video to the next level and we're gonna create landscapes layer by layer. So let's get started. We are going to create a project like this. As you can see, this pyramid has one sprite here, which contains a, a continuous line. Then there is another sprite which has some dots that is stamped several times, moving upwards and reducing size. Okay, that's what we did last day with building 3D shapes. Then we have another horizontal line, the same as this one. And then we have another sprite, okay, another costume, in fact, with the same dot, but placed in a different position. Then, again, the horizontal line, and we have again the same costume as, as we had at the very beginning. Okay, so that's repeated several times until we reach the minimum size and we stop. We are going to begin creating the three layers. So we're going to take the line. The outline is going to be this color. We'll try with three pixels wide and fill could be could be this yellow. Now we're going to duplicate it and we're going to remove the outline. Maybe later we'll have to make the outline wider. So now let's take the paintbrush. Let's go back here and let's take this color, which is done this way. And now here we're going to make some dots. And now we're going to duplicate it and we're going to move the position of the dots. We're going to move the position of this dot except this one because we want to create the edge of the pyramid here. So this has to be continuous, okay? So here, 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 here. What's happening here? What's happening here? Okay, let's make sure they are in a different position. Yes. So we're going to begin with this, which is going to be number one. Then we're going to continue with number two, then number three, and finally another number two here, which is going to be four. So we will duplicate this, well, we will stamp this sometimes, then we will have this to create the first horizontal line, then we will continue with some more layers which are going to be different from this one and then we're going to have again a horizontal line and that's a process we're going to repeat several times until we reach the top of the pyramid remember we need the pen so this is a tool you need here and you can add it from here okay so let's begin first of all i'm going to create a block which is going to be very useful that is when green green flag clicked erase all and that way I can erase the pyramid just by clicking on green flag. Our pyramid is going to be created when space key pressed. And it's going to be created on my cursor. So first of all, we're going to go to mouse pointer. Let's take the magic block. And let's see. What we want to do is stamp change y, remember vertical axis, by 1 and change size by minus 1 
And this is something we're going to repeat several times. Let's say seven times. Let's see how it looks. Okay. After this, we need a horizontal line here. So next costume and stamp again. Here we have it. And we have to repeat this process more times. So we're going to repeat this, this until the size is the min minimum. I'm going to put size 1, and as you see, the, min the minimum size here is 7. So when size is less than 10, for example, we're going to stop. So let's review it. We repeat this sequence, next costume, stamp, and next costume again. And this should work after setting size to 100 at the beginning of the program and also switching costume to number one. We have to make sure at the beginning of the program size is 100 and costume is number one. So let's see. Okay, so it's perfect. Now you can make the adjustments you want. For example, if you want a wider horizontal line you can come here and set it to 5 or even 6 if you want. Let's see now. You see the horizontal line is much more visible now. Another thing you can do is increase the number of times this is repeated so that these bricks are higher with a 10 here, for example. But as you see, here we have a problem. So maybe when it is less than 15, we should stop doing this. Okay, and that's perfect. So here we have our pyramid. All right, a couple of things we can improve. Uh, first of all, as you see this line, is like a straight line here, and that doesn't look very good. So we're going to move this dot to the left and this dot to the right, or vice versa. So just by moving this a little bit, and this one here, now it looks completely different. Another thing we can improve is create a horizontal line here. So it's simple. We're going to start with costume number two. We're going to stamp. But that should be after going to mouse pointer. Wait a second. Here. And we're going to go to the next costume. And this way the pyramid looks a little bit better, okay? Now you can change how high the pyramid is and the, how inclined these lines are. For example, if we change Y by 1.5, the pyramid looks a little bit different, maybe better, maybe worse. That that depends on you. So you can play with these numbers and this number until you you get the best pyramid uh, according to your idea of what, a, what the best pyramid is. Okay. So let's continue. Now we're going to add a backdrop. And we are going to create not one, but several pyramids, which are going to be different in size. So our first pyramid is going to be created here. So it is not going to go to 
mouse pointer it is going to go there and that position is this one x22 y negative 142 so when we press space key the pyramid the pyramid appears here maybe it could be bigger so let's set size to 150 okay now I'm going to duplicate this and we're going to create it's this one another pyramid here obviously this pyramid is gonna be smaller because it's far away so let's set size to 60 let's try with 60 and let's see and it's going to go to this position so now let's try Okay, that looks so good. And I don't think there's space for many more pyramids. Maybe we could, let's see, we could move this one here. And now we're going to add an animal that walks along the screen. I don't think there are any camels here. But let's see if we can find an animal that is suitable. The fox could be good, but he's not moving his legs. So it's gonna be difficult to make him walk. But let's take Dot. Let's put it here size 60 pointing in the opposite direction minus 90 and left right rotation style so at the very beginning dot is gonna go there and dot is gonna start walking when receives a message when this pyramid has been built so that's why you have to broadcast a message, okay, using this. After this pyramid, okay, which takes longer to be built, has finished. And when dot receives that message, let's hide it when green flag clicked. He's going to go there, he's going to show, and he's going to start walking. There's an extra costume we don't need and we have to get rid of it to make him walk. Maybe we could even remove this one and keep only these two. So we're gonna do next costume, perhaps wait 0 0.1 seconds and move 10 steps. And he's gonna repeat this process until he reaches this part of the screen so until his x position is less than negative 235 let's try with this and let's see what happens so dot comes here And here he stops and we hide it. So this is the end of the project, guys. Uh, you can make many more things. You can add a title here. You can add some music or some sound effects. I'm gonna show you the original one, which was made by Elena. She's a woman from Belarus. And she created this awesome project. So I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Leave your project links in the comment section so that we all can learn from each other and we create a, 
an awesome community with everybody collaborate and interact and see you next week.